Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I'm continuing my look at all of the new hulls in Core Patch 0.5. So this is the new Italian Super Battleship available after 1936 that I wanted to have a look at. Um, this was the uh, Modern Battleship 3 that I showed off, but uh, today we're going to go into the Super Battleship, which... Yeah, it's just a <laughs> plus-sized version, uh, so it still has that awkward quarter deck. Um, let's push this thing to the limit, see what we can uh, achieve with this thing. Now then, towers, we get the compact advanced, the light advanced, a, a bigger light advanced. Two of them. And a mega. Which is the same as the compact, but a lot bigger. And a mega two. Okay, what about stats? It's a pretty big jump. Here. I go for the light advanced tower four um, today. I think that's a that's a nice compromise. Then we have the minor the medium the enhanced or the heavy. Now the heavy is a backwards main tower um, and has ludicrously good stats compared to the others so uh, let's go for that and have a weird ship that looks like it's <laughs> um, yeah that's gonna be a bit weird <laughs> it's like that Spanish super battleship from yeah wait what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it is a bit of a weird one. Uh, but there you go. Uh, it's to confuse the enemy about which direction it's going in. Um, <laughs> let's go oil. I wonder how fast you can get this thing on a diesel engine. 88 smoke. Mm. Go for two of those. Uh, hundred percent engine efficiency at twenty six knots. Okay, we're going around twenty nine knots. That's very respectable for a ninety two thousand ton ship. There you go, twenty nine point six knots on diesels. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's very respectable. That's very respectable. Now, looking at it, I'm pretty sure what this ship will appreciate is a triple 20 setup. I think that's kind of what we're going to end up going with. So in that regard, it is similar to that Spanish ship. Uh, yeah, as expected, we have enormous four weight offset. Too much. Now it's an half weight offset. Okay, there we go. Now then, secondary guns. Can we go for six inch? Do we get any slots for it? No, we do get plenty of deck slots, which I could play around with. I was wanting to see what you can uh, 
fit on the towers. Feckle. Okay. You can fit a lot of two inch guns. The game is uh, struggling a little bit there. And of course, we can fit two inch guns on the top of the towers. Not those ones, because they'll interfere. We can fit them up here as well. So if you want to do actual secondary guns, you're going to have to do them yourself. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, they are, they are quite long. But, uh, I mean, we are fitting uh, ABX triple 20-inch guns in here. So, and it, it looks about right. It doesn't look too crowded. Uh, yes, I could absolutely use a, a shorter secondary tower, but... Uh, this thing has really, really good stats, which is why I picked it. Uh, you do get some very small secondary towers, so like this one is is pretty tiny. I think the medium is even smaller. Yeah, it is. So you, you can get quite a lot of extra deck space, and you could go for a A B X Y double. Um, just thinking about secondary guns, though, it would be nice to get some in. Just thinking about layout. Where can we can we fit any of these little barbettes in? Because they they can sometimes be good. Yeah, here. Oh wow, six inch guns are somewhat bigger than I thought. But uh, I think I know where to fit them in. Um, I'm getting a fit on that one. Not very elegant, but uh, I think that should give us a reasonable amount of secondary firepower. Uh, especially if the game will let me. Hmm. Uh, let's go to. Here with it. So we can get a two inch gun on as well. Lovely. There we go. I think that'll, that'll do. Gun wise. Uh, why do I have starboard weight offset? Ah, because of that thing. There we go. Hey, W. Yeah, all lo loads of two inch guns. Absolutely tons of them. <laughs> um, right. Let's go for medium range, medium bulkheads, as I have been throughout. Um, we're going to struggle on weight, I think, actually. 20 inch guns are very heavy to fit in. Let's go chew powder TNT. Get the gun set up first this time. Now then, what's my flash fire chance? 4%. 1%. Zero percent. Ooh, with super heavy shells. Okay, three percent. Reinforce the bulkheads down and back down to two. Okay, I can live with that. Get the 
probably fit. No, it's going to be very light on the anti torpedo protection. Anti top two. Uh, and let's just round the armor values off as best we can before the game slows down too much. No, it's doing that really annoying thing that it does. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit more on the turrets. Oh, the main gun turrets would be good. Like at least 20 inch. Good. Uh, like a little bit more on the foredeck, not that much. We're pretty much at our weight limit. Uh, huh. Pair of sixes on the quarter deck. Yeah, back here. I could do, but uh, the, the ship's pretty well balanced, and now the game, the, the launcher is now really, really struggling. <laughs> Hello there, Dominicus. My eyes. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's not that bad, surely. <laughs> 17 inch torpedoes, no. Actually, I think the smallest you can get in this era is 18, but I'm not sure. It's taken a while to uh, build this. Only problem is it's Italian. Oh, Volrosk. Um, <laughs> you won't know this yet, but... Uh, well, you will when you're watching this video back. Um, but live on Twitch, uh, when I'm recording this, you, one of your scenarios is coming this evening and uh, on YouTube. And you, you, you will not be pleased by the outcome. I'm pretty sure it was yours. Or is I going to do yours tomorrow? I've seen... I've seen... Was it you or was it... No, I think it was Divide Walker. But uh, if you don't like Italians, you're not going to like it. Yeah, it was Divide Walker's one. Um, Sorry, you were right above each other in the in the thing. Yeah, Divide Walker's going to be really annoyed. <laughs> oh, Dab, you, you're going to hate it as well. You're going to really going to hate today's video at six. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you don't like Italy or France. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna struggle. Uh, Japan v China. I'm pretty, yeah, I think that might be I'm gonna be yes, that's the one. I'll be doing that this evening. Um because I'm hoping the, to get all the hulls done today um, and I thought well what should I because you know core patch has got me excited uh, I've decided I'm going to do the Naval Academy <laughs> again seeing as my progress has been restarted I thought I might as well use it as a kind of uh, tutorial of sorts um, talking through how you can tackle the various Naval Academy missions that's a big battleship uh, Nelson on the back and two on the front. Okay, Battlecruiser has a Q turret. Wow, AI been uh, taking its big boy pills today. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I have to do the ironclad battle again. Oh god. But uh, no, it'll, it'll be good to uh, actually get I don't think anyone has got a bank of all the Naval Academy missions and I wouldn't have done it with it if they hadn't reset it so maybe it's a blessing in disguise
Ah, enemy in sight. Well, obviously, because we're shooting at them. Now let's have a look. Wow. Okay, America. Weird. 15-inch guns. Ten of them. Uh, a whole pile of 8-inch guns. Goodness me. Okay. Uh, Battlecruiser. Also with... Holy hell. So you have a ship this size. <laughs> with 15. 15 inch guns. That thing is going to be explosive. Calling it now. Uh, heavy cruiser. Is normal by comparison. And light cruiser. I'm not seeing tons of torpedoes. On those. And obviously the destroyer does have a launcher. Let's see if we can get the X-Turret firing. Yeah, I've heard that people have been having trouble with um, the flat one, with uh, getting hit through the turret. Because there's a limit to how much armor you can put on it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at that. It's also part of why I went through there. Hey, Hardmore. Uh, that's a good point, W. I, I'm, not, I'm assuming you do get to design all of them, but uh, you might. You might not. So, um, Kiyosaki, the, the scenario we're talking about, the ironclad uh, monitor versus Virginia fight, because it's in 1860 whatever, um, you basically get zero options. <laughs> like none. It's black powder. That's it. We're we firing at the destroyer. Okay. Funny though that is, uh, fortunately we have reacquired a more sensible target. Do you take a hit first from them? Assuming we're now firing at the battleship. Yes. Scored a hit. Last time I took out um, the Italian modern battleship, is the, that's the only one of the core patch ships that hasn't done particularly well. Um, but uh, all the super battleships have done alright. Six inch guns opening up and immediately scoring hits on the destroyer, though. Pretty nice. Another hit on the enemy battleship. Another hit on the destroyer. Secondary guns, particularly with a good crew, um, really do seem to be able to uh, deal with destroyers a lot more effectively. They have, however, fire torpedoes, so time to uh, a high energy turn. Let's score another hit on the enemy battleship. Bum, bum, bum. Screw fish, no problem. Uh, it's because your uh, Twitch username is different from you. Like, because I'm, you know. <laughs> I, I have trouble with reading. I know it sounds stupid, but I, I do. Um, with the dyslexia, I'll, I'll never in a million years. Uh, like, it's because that's the name on the screen. It's like my brain has a funny block on it. Ooh, that was a good hit. Two of the engines down on the Louisiana. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, two powder three TNT three. 102,000 tons and 400 million. So roughly equivalent. 29 knots. Same kind of speed. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Seattle, 8 inch guns. Uh, got the Canberra. Not too much of a threat. Okay. Three more. Five hits. Jesus on the Louisiana. Accuracy is really very good now. At uh, how far away are we? 10 kilometers and a 75% chance to hit. 
Yikes. Okay, destroyer's been uh, obliterated. Yeah, you can change your crew. Um, so for all the testing that I'm doing on the hulls, I'm going for a, a crew value of 80, uh, which gives you a seasoned crew, which I think kind of represents... I, I'm doing a lot of assumptions, but uh, I reckon that is probably something that you can achieve relatively easy in the campaign. Um, it certainly doesn't cost too much, and it gives you almost the, the maximum stat boost. Yeah, Louisiana really did very, very hard here. Really not able to stand up to the 20 inch guns. Meanwhile, the 15s not having the best time. Three more hits, all the engines are out. Maximum bulkheads though. Now with this chance to hit, this is this is gonna cause some serious issues for them. ship is ruined. About a fifth of the crew has died. This might finish it. There we go. Okay. Uh, battle cruiser next. Yep. Now the Illinois... Uh, also Chupaner and TNT. Okay, so might not be as explosive as I was hoping, but uh, probably still not going to react well to this. Ranging shot going out. Two hits from it. It's pretty decent. Wind up. Fire force salvo. And that's pretty much crippled the Illinois. Flooding all over the ship. In fact, might, might even be enough to sink it. Absolutely destroyed that ship with that broadside. Two more big hits and sunk. Seems about right. Just the cruisers to go. Uh, Canberra already taken quite a lot of damage from six inches, but a twenty-inch gun, a twenty-inch high explosive, puts an end to it. Oh, a torpedo! How cute! Uh, meanwhile, the uh, poor old Seattle takes a twenty-inch shell for a trouble. <laughs> you cursed it, chat. I was just about to say, oh, this is seal clubbing. What? I know. 
it, it exploded. That happens sometimes. Now that is interesting. That is twice I've taken out that Italian, uh, the new Italian battleships, and twice that they haven't done very well. Although that was a fairly spectacular explosion, only a two percent flash fire chance on this hull. Um, it just must have been a lucky hit from that heavy cruiser. Um, got somewhere, probably went through the turret top. Um, although, yeah, probably. I, I don't know. I didn't see it on the log. Um, if you were watching that, if you're watching this back, uh, you can pause the video and you can have a look down here um, during the battle and tell me uh, what happened there uh, and what kind of armor it went through. But uh, it can happen. Uh, the other thing it might have been was, I mean, the four belt is only seven and the four deck is only 3.4. So I reckon it was a turret that went up. But... Uh, yeah, there you go. Italy, another seemingly really nice ship that just all of a sudden has issues. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.